Hi! This time we decided to convert the vintage salon hair dryer to floor lamp. We had this project for a while, but it wasn't that easy to find a suitable and good salon hair dryer. After some time of searching, we finally found one, and that is salon hair dryer manufactured by Adex company from Norway which is a company that still operates and produces various heating elements. The first thing was to disassemble this dryer and remove the heater element and motor that we won't need for this project. Of course, I usually work in my house, this time at a kitchen table, so it was important to clean everything and not make a big mess. I had a plan to use the old cable and switch that originally came with the dryer, so I had to check in which switch position we have power on one of the four available wires. Also, I'm someone who usually works with electricity at work, so I have to warn you not to play with electricity. It can be very dangerous if you don't know what you are doing. Instead of a light bulb, we choose to go with a ceiling LED lamp and we choose that warm yellow color of light. It was better solution for one vintage but modern lamp, which was our plan to make, but it was not so easy to find a way to install a selling LED lamp in an old hair dryer. Luckily, in my house I found two old L profiles, I guess they are from some curtain rod, which I folded into U profile and attached to the part of the hair dryer where the engine and heater were. only necessary to drill two additional holes on the cover of the LED lamp. Connecting the cable and the LED lamp was an easy task.
After making sure that everything worked great, we decided to paint the lamp in new colors. For the inner parts we opted for gold, while we painted the outer part with matte black. Plastic is definitely one of the more demanding surface for painting, so it was very important to prepare the plastic well. This means good cleaning of the surface and removal of the protective layer of the previous paint. It is also necessary to degrease the surface and to use a plastic primer which in our case is already an integral part of the spray we used. After painting, it was necessary to put everything together. We had to replace the power cord as we found one super lamp stand through which it was not possible to pull the original cable. These are the original metal parts and the stand that we will use. We also decided to paint the metal parts in the same colors as the lamp itself. The only problem here was that the hole in the stand was not big enough, so I had to make it a little bigger, so the original part of the wall stand from dryer could fit into it perfectly. We now turn to the final assembly of all the parts. I couldn't use the original switch anymore, so I thought I could use a foot switch, but in the end I decided for the Son of Smart switch, which I already have and which can be controlled by your mobile phone or smart speaker. And 
finally, let me show you our new lamp. Alexa, turn the lamp on. If you find this video amusing, you can give it a like and maybe you can subscribe to see more from us in the future. Thanks for watching.